Hi, good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome to God's Way of Success with Roy King, my dad, and I'm Lisa King, KingWorldwide.com. We have a great message today called Unbelieving Words Freeze God's Blessing. So if you want to get ahead in life and do it God's way, which is going to be eternally successful and victorious, this is how you do it. Go, Dad. Hello, Lisa. I like our matching colors oh, or blending. Blending colors. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Um, let me start off by saying that uh, uh, I think that if you are, if you have not uh, in the recent past received the manifestation of your dreams, your goals, your desires, and what you prayed for, you need to, you need to to really tune in and turn your catchers on. You need to really, really get it tuned in today because I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the thing, I think the number one area- The Lord I, has given you. That I have Im improved in over the last few years. We've been delivered out of the kingdom of darkness. Because and of we are now in a new kingdom called the kingdom of God. There are two different, now let me say this, about the kingdom of God, it's a government and the kingdom of God, it supplies everything that you need, want, desire, right. everything. It's just like the government here in the United States, it provides certain things, mm -hmm. is that the kingdom of God, it is your one one source, while you're here on earth, really, right. it's your one source, and it provides everything for you, but you... We you, have to follow the plan. You have to follow the plan, and you got to get in sync. You, yeah, and it's not difficult, and it's not legalistic. It's not. It's just like there's natural laws and there's spiritual laws. Most Christians in the past didn't know the spiritual laws, so that's why we're here to help explain. Now, with these, two, there are two different systems, and in both systems, we have two different ways of speaking. So this is where I want you. You really, really tune in your catchers, is because if you understand this it will reverse your blessings to you immediately, immediately. Right. right in the kingdom of darkness which is the earth the enemy tries to get you to express yourself with words of darkness doubt or speak words contrary or contradictory to god's word uh, for example in 2 corinthians 4 4 it says that satan is the god of this world so even though you're, you're born again, Satan is still the God of this world, but we have to follow God's system in order to reap the benefits or the blessings and, and of God's system. the victory that Jesus won for us. Now, we're gonna give you our director, my wife, Sally. Yay, Mom. She, she uh, this weekend, she prepared uh, just, I mean, she did it within two or three minutes. It, it really surprised me, because I thought it was gonna be an hour long project, <laughs> but, it, but it didn't is that she she jotted down and i'm going to read some of them i'm going to read them kind of slowly these are kind of common words that we've all heard in the past as far as from people here on the earth people in society and some of them i've even said myself in the past so but here are some of them i'm going to go in sequence maybe four or five you want to go clip. um you go one i go one so it makes it sure fun. okay uh i'm so tired it blows my mind can you imagine um, so we're not going to say this is this is not our quote, but these are things that people have said, and actually we're going to put on the website King Worldwide yeah. these, and then what the Word of God says. Right. And the quick thing, if you can't remember all these, it's okay. You just think back. Did Jesus say these words? Right. Okay. Yes, she is. Uh, I'm scared to death. Now I've never said that. Quite honestly, I've never said that, but I've heard tons of people say that. It's a terrible day. First I'm, of all, terrible is a ter terror is the word. either. That's not a God word. I'm so behind in my work. I've probably said that in the past and years past. Uh, I hate such and such. Uh, that I don't say these either, yeah. but. I ache all over. I'm not sure. I might have said that years and years ago, but not. My dogs are tired. That's yeah. what you used to say. Yeah, my okay. do dogs are referring to my feet. The Go traffic ahead. is terrible. I've probably said that. Uh, I sneeze all day. I'm all day. so angry. Uh, well, I'm so mad. That's what that's what I would say. Okay, past. I'm so confused. Okay, first of all, that is Satan is the author of confusion. That is that phrase is right in the Bible. You and can't I, miss and, it. And I think you can go. I think it's one Corinthians fourteen thirty three. Is oh, I bet you're right. It'll say that Satan is the author okay. of confusion. We'll put it on the website. Okay, uh, I'm so confused. That's what I just said. Oh, excuse. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. You go ahead. I can't do this. I can't, I can't do. This. I never have said that. No, I don't think I've said that either. I tell you, wait, this is not on the list. But 
this is one years ago I used to say a lot. I don't have time for this. And then you had no time. I had no time because what you say is what you get. So another thing you could say is say, I'm not going to use my time on The Lord wants me to use my time on something else. It's so yucky outside. My feet are killing me. I'm catching a cold. I won't catch that. You make me sick. Ooh, I'm dying to go. I know. These are I, terrible. I don't th like these words. Th this is this next one I haven't said other than teaching like this. I haven't said in over probably 25 years. You taught us not to I say. can't afford it. I never say it. I learned that, then I'll tell you why in a minute. I can't believe it. It seems like I will never get it. It seems like I'll never get it. That's unbelievable. That's very common for a lot of people to say. People will say, that's unbelievable or that's incredible. Well, both of them are negatives. Did Jesus and ever say that? Contrary to God's word. Right. It's taking so long. Where's my harvest? Okay. Oh, now, enough. Now, I let, block let, those right. out of our. Those, those are things that are commonly said in the kingdom of darkness here on earth. Oh, the Lord just said people think it's a figure of speech. Good grief. Yeah, that's bad. So it's not a figure of speech. The thing is, Satan is not smart. He just responds to our words spoken. Oh yeah, we're going to get into that. Okay, go for it, Dad. Okay, now Romans 4.17 says call those things that be not as though they were. Yeah. Call those things that be not as though they were. So th th this is this is the things we just, the list we just went over and we enunciated here are things that people normally say. Now the question would be are these things that you'd like to have? No. The answer is no. The, the one that I said most in the past was that I don't have any time. I don't have enough time. Well, is that really what I wanted? The no. answer is no. I wanted more but time. But Satan pressured you to feel that. Right. And so you thought that if you express how you feel, then you're gonna it's going to help you. But it doesn't. It's just a trap of the enemy. Okay. Words, your words, this is hard for a lot of people to understand. For me. In the past. And she, she yeah, in the past, she beat this in me. And, and I she still keep, do. She still does, yeah. Words are the authority in the earth. Right. Your words, good, bad, or indifferent. They're, now here, I want you to picture it. Satan, he's, he and his demonic spirits, they're right, they're right in front of your face, right in front of your mouth, waiting to hear your kingdom of darkness words. Because they can, re they can act on it right away. They do immediately because when, if, if one says any of these things here or anything contrary to God's word, then what they do, Satan will dispatch his yes. demonic spirits to go into force and to bring that, take that place in order for it to happen, to manifest it's in your life. It's getting in the crack. And so you can say, well, God's will will always prevail. It won't because he gave you authority, you and me, authority over everything. So we have to always speak the words of the new kingdom. Yes. Because these words are going to empower you and move you forward. How do you get the words of the new kingdom or the kingdom of God? Well, you go to the Bible. You go to the Bible and that's what Lisa's taught a lot is that what you do, you go to the Bible, you spend time reading God's word out loud so that you can hear it every day. You just start Amen. You, you start that process. And it'll get it'll get easier and easier. Get a translation that you can understand. I use eighteen. Oh, she uses eighteen, I use two. But, but, the but one, we all can go to but it. But the one I understand the most is New Living Translation is because it makes sense to me and then I refer back to the King James. Do whatever but, uh, the Lord says. You you always need to speak something in line with yes. what God says yes. about your life. All right, let, let me give you a little example here. This just came to me this morning. Is that when you're going on a journey and you drive down the road and you apply and you apply the brake, then that slows you down. Right. Okay? Here you are going through life. Let's make an analogy here is that Negative words are like applying the brake. Yeah. Oh, good. Very Negative good. Negative words like applying. Ooh, that's so really you're good. you're going on a journey, and every you're going the journey of life, and every negative word you speak is freezing it, stopping it. How many negative words do you want to say? Well, you probably don't want to say any because if you if, if you stop it, you'll get to your destination. If you don't stop it, you might not ever get to your destination. Yeah, so, so frustrating. That, that's why the world is in such turmoil. And we're because, talking to Christians. Yeah. It, it's because, because it's our responsibility. Most people, me in the past, me a little me bit in the now, past, is that most people speak words of darkness, and that's why they've got junk in their life. Right. All right. Inside of your heart is soil. And when you 
when you stick something in soil, what does it do? It'll try to grow. Even like a post on, into a ground. Oh, it'll it, try to grow around it. Even it, it, it'll it'll basically work on the post. That's right. right. So what do you stick in the ground? It's either good or bad. Right. Now it grows. Luke eight eleven says the seed is the word of God. Yep. So therefore, picture picture you got a box and it's got dirt in it, soil in it. And you plant, let's say, you plant a tomato seed in there, tomato vine, really. You plant, then what it's going to do is grow. Let's say you plant grass, grass seed. It's going to grow, okay? You plant something bad, it's going to grow. Right. As long as it's, that's what we're saying, the Word of God. Yes. Yeah. So, so if you don't, but if you plant bad, you're going to get bad. No question. If you plant good, you're going to get good. That's why I picture your heart being a, a soil and if you sow the seed of the word, which is Luke eight eleven, if you sow the seed of the uh, of the word of God, then that's what's going to grow in your life, and you're going to grow and flourish, and the blessing is just going to just going to abound in your life. So you want you want to sow the seed of of the kingdom of God. Thank you for the comp compliments. I serve Jesus, and that's the, the glory. Okay, now. Years ago, while unemployed, my principal area of concern was financial. I searched the Bible. Here's what I did. I searched the Bible for God's promises about finances. Now, I was unemployed. That's when I started doing it. And made a list and started speaking them. I want to give you an example of exactly what I did. This was 20-some years ago. And this process that I did started me on the journey of becoming financially independent. And you also cut out... Uh, a lot of television and you never got the newspaper so yeah. you didn't just put the word in you blocked the stuff I stopped the contaminant great point well and you I did was, that and taught us and that. I started put I started putting the the word in and then I capped the contamination of ba as far as junk I will have to add a comment for mom she never looked at magazines she never got those she never watched TV maybe a movie with us but she was always an example of keeping her mind focused on our family and the word of God and yep. mom thank you yeah Okay, here's, here's actually example. what I did. The first thing I did is that I sowed a seed offering into fertile soil ministry. Yeah. I spoke over it, and if you don't know what, if you don't speak over it, then you're just throwing your seed out there in the window in the black hole. Go to King hole. Worldwide. Go to King Worldwide, and you'll find out what to say as far as tithe and seed offerings. And then the third thing I did is that I expected the hundredfold return. Now, With Mark four. So. Here, here's here's what I did when I asked for it. I started at the very very beginning, and it was, it's John sixteen twenty three. Whatsoever you ask of the Father in the name of Jesus, He will give it to you. And so I said, Father, I'm asking you for an annual salary of a hundred thousand dollars a year to support my family and also to finance the growth of the gospel of the kingdom. And you had already inquired to find out if I, that's what he wanted. I did a little bit. I didn't know a whole lot about then, but I did because I was kind of desperate, to be very honest. And uh, so that's that's the first thing that I did is that I, I asked for it. And then here's what I said, is that I said, thank you, Father, for hearing me. I know you always hear me yes. when I speak your word. Yes. And I know that I have the petition that I presented to you. Yes. Now that is John 11, 41, and 1 John 5, 14, 50. I'm getting yes. that, uh, so you, you can, can reference that. it. Okay. Now, after that, after I asked for it, and then I said, thank, thank you for it. I, I know, uh, I believe that I received it by faith. Then every day thereafter, I thanked. Yes. I didn't go back and ask. If you again. ask, you're doubting. That's doubting. That's no, unbelief. No question. So I started off the same way. Uh, John 16, 23. What? Father, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Thank you, Father, for the $100,000 a year annual salary to support my family and also to finance the growth of the And you didn't go talking account. about it. with We didn't have Facebook back then, but you no. didn't go put it on Facebook or Twitter and say, believe with me, let's pray about it. No. You handle it with your wife, yep. and you give it to yourself, and you say it to yourself. There's yep. no need for the enemy to hear it. Good point. It, it comes to and so, right, right after saying that, after I said thank you, I said, I believe that I receive it by faith. That's Mark 11, 24. And so then after I'd say, I said, I confirm and release my faith in your word, Father, is that uh, in your word. And I started quoting a few. I'd say Philippians 4.19. My God shall supply all my needs, desires, and wants according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. 
I would say uh, Proverbs 10.22. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth without, without painful toil for it. And then I'd say Mark 10.30. Anyone that gives for Jesus' sake yes. and spreading the gospel shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. So you're putting his principles into action. You're calling right. his promises in. That's exactly what Jesus did. See, God's word is the power of... I have the same I have the same authority as Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's Matthew twenty eight eighteen. So since I've got the authority and words are the authority and I use yes. the power of God's word, it has it has, it has to, to manifest if I don't dig it up with, with unforgiveness. Unforgiveness, lack of love, or if I don't dig it up with kingdom of darkness words. If and, I dig it up with kingdom of darkness right. words, it's it's Again, on the journey, it's putting the brake. It's, it, it's Very good. It's, it's okay. freezing the blessing. Okay. Let me tell you a short little phrase that I say to, today all throughout the day, and it kind of encapsulates a lot of this. Now, is the blessing of Abraham is mine. It works in all areas of my life right now. Yep. Okay? Now, in my opinion, one of the biggest deterrents uh, to the manifestation of your harvest outside of lack of love or unforgiveness, which we just mentioned, is your mouth. Everything's pertaining to that. The words you speak. The words you speak. Every day, and, and to, today, you the rest of You used to not be, you have to be honest, you used to think that I was silly bugging you about these words. Yeah, bug, oh. bugging me was a big word. I mean, that, yeah, that was Yeah, but it. I was having success. I was yeah. peaceful. I yeah. was joyful. When I spoke, it happened. Right. And you saw that. I yeah, could, I saw it. And I gradually, I gradually converted to the right way. And so Why now, didn't you at first? Because you thought it silly, didn't make sense? No, I, I just... You thought it can't make a difference because no one's doing it. I, I think that's it. Because the, I, I didn't hear it out in the world, didn't see it in many people in the world, just one or two people on earth. So therefore, I probably didn't believe it. That's exactly that's right. That's probably it. So but now you do. Every day I'm extremely vigilant about the words I speak. In the past... I would unintentionally speak words of the darkness system. And now, he really got mad at me. He really got, he goes, Lisa, that is, that's annoying. I said, okay, you don't want God's blessing. That's about what she said. And that irritated me even more. I, uh, but first of all, because he's my father, I asked if I could speak freely yeah, to him. Yeah, you don't do yeah. that. But we had a, I've asked to so speak freely. So in the past, I'd speak words of the darkness system and, and, and I'd catch myself. And when I'd catch myself, I would immediately repent. Say, that's not my word. That's, I didn't mean that. Right. And I'd ask God for unforgiveness. And for, I'd, forgiveness. And, uh, for, for forgiveness. And then I'd thank Jesus yes. for forgiving me. Yes, and taking it. All right. My alarm system today uh, yeah. is on 24-7 because, as we talked earlier, and this is part of the title of it, because unbelieving words will freeze what we talked about at the very beginning, the very end of Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all, all these things. things will be added unto you. It's a secret. Unbelieving words will freeze the manifestation of those things right. coming into your life. So it's not God that's not delivering all, all of us. Right. He's delivering perfectly to me. I feel blessed, but it's because he taught me how to get in the system, and now we're teaching everybody else, and it's going to go worldwide. Thank last, you, Jesus. Last little phrase. You might not like this, but I'm on, it's the truth. Therefore, you choose, you yes, determine, and you choose your words, which means that... You. you determine yes. and you choose what blessings yes. manifest in your life. Amen. You choose it. You choose it. It's in your mouth. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank that you. is the best teaching ever. Done. Thank you. Okay, we'll see y'all this week. Whatever. Talk soon. Bye-bye.